Yankees. Yeah, but back to what's really. When I step into the batter's box, my Facebook automatically checks in to Nashville, Tennessee. Welcome to Thrilly's Lair, Laser Mr. Miyagi! Preston, who, uh, if Kyle Schwarber can get to the big leagues with that swing, how come, why did the one-man thrill ride never get there? He's That's got a same, nice stroke. Same pass, man. Man. So anyway, our guys found uh, the th one-man thrill ride on the internet, and uh, Harold was thrilled, as I was, and I came across him a little later. He describes himself as uh, an internet icon, D3 baseball superstar, VFW wrestling god, and an absolute savage. And without further ado, <laughs> we give you, America, the one-man thrill ride, Jimmy Preston. Thrill ride, welcome to Hot Stove. Thank you very much. Fresh shave, fresh fade, making handsome happen on the MLB Network. Thanks for having me. <laughs> you're, yeah. looking, you're looking good. You're looking good, man. Hey, I, I, I am so excited that you, you, you came on the air with us. I know you're a huge baseball fan. i got to ask you, who was your favorite team before we dive into everything else? Well, I'm from Boston, the city of champions. Obviously, the Boston Red Sox have been my favorite team since I was about two years old. Yup. Everything from Teddy Ballgame, Carl Yastrzemski, Manny Ramirez, all the way up. Huge fan. Thrill ride. Uh, you're, pre you're a pretty big kid. I mean, uh, you, did you play D3 at that size? Because uh, there are not a lot of kids playing D3 sports, even football, that are as big as you. Yeah, I mean, as you know, I went to the FSU, Fitchburg State University, and absolutely mashed at a pretty ferocious pace. I think I played at about 185. Right now I'm about 220, but some of it's, you know, donuts and IPAs, but that's okay. Um, we're going to get back in the gym. I'm getting married in a couple months, so I'm going to get shredded like Rambo. No big deal. <laughs> so, hey, hey, so, Thrill, let me ask you this. If you were standing in front of the 2016 Boston Red Sox, what would the speech be to get them ready for the season? The first thing I do, I talk to Pab Pablo Sandoval and tell him it looks like the last time he went for a run was after an ice cream truck, all right? He needs to get in gear. I don't care if you're fat, but you got to hit about 290 with about 20 jacks. So I got to see production out of him. I want to see Hanley Ramirez diving on baseballs like landmines going off in Vietnam. You know what I mean? He needs to block the baseball and play well over there on the corner. So... You know, that's pretty much how, what I'd say. I think John Farrell's job might be on the line, so you better come out, play hard, hustle like champions. Have you, have you, ever, uh, have you ever had a chance to work out with any of the Red Sox? And by the way, I mean, you, you could be a force in that clubhouse in, in, as far as the training staff is concerned. We have actually, before you answer that question, Throw Ride, we've got video of one of your winter workouts. Watch this along with us. Yes. Rah! Oh, man, you call this a blizzard? This ain't a blizzard. The only storm that's going to be taking place is the storm that's about to occur inside my local fitness center when I bombard my biceps like an absolute savage. Mm, pow. That's right. Walk with me. Talk with me. Here's what's going to happen. We're going to isolate biceps for about an hour and a half like a real athlete is supposed to. And what's great about this is this is the only time of year when these ski goggles actually make sense to wear. So I'm excited. <laughs> I'm motivated at a high level. <laughs> you isolated biceps for an hour and a half? You have to. All athletes do that. I mean, the CrossFit thing, it's just a fad. You need to isolate and focus on your biceps for at least 90 minutes, three times a week, if you're a real athlete. Oh my I think God. that goes without saying. You know who would love abs you know who would love the one-man thrill ride? Dero would love this guy. Oh, oh Dero's going to, uh, no doubt about it. you will have him back. <laughs> hey, thrill ride, so I, I, I love how you go on your rants and your speeches, all right? So we got some youngsters that are in college ball or even in the minor leagues trying to get to the big leagues. Talk to us about dedication. Give us a little speech. Absolutely. You got to go full tilt, full time every day. You got to practice like you play. You got to show up early. You got to stay late. You're talking about 500 dry swings a day. And if you don't take 500 dry swings a day in front of a mirror, shirtless, you probably are a terrorist. We cannot allow that to happen. You need to be shirtless. You need to be motivated at a high level. T work, oppo like top, taco, middle, in. You got to spray to all fields, smash the other way like Wade Boggs would. 
Oh, I love it. <laughs> 500 dry swings a day shirtless, and you heard it right here from Jimmy, one-man thrill ride Preston, with whom it's been a pleasure to visit. Jimmy, thanks for the time. Uh, get back to doing those skull crushers and, uh, what is it, chest and back today? Uh, it's just chest. Uh, I'm trying to work out next to a guy who's got a sunken chest. I could eat a bowl of cereal out of him. <laughs> All right, one man thrill ride joining us on the stove. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> that did not. That did not disappoint. By the way. No, it was awesome. Yeah. He, Thanks, thrill. He, Appreciate he, it. Yeah, he, uh, he is. Man, that is Boston at its best right there for me too. I love it. Come on, you got to get him in the studio with D-Row.